An encounter at McDonald's. A touching story I received from a friend long ago, and now sharing it with you. I don't have any idea about the original author. I am a mother of three, and have recently completed my college degree. The last class one had to take was sociology. The teacher was absolutely inspiring, with the qualities that I wish every human being had been graced with. Her last project of the term was called Smile. The class was asked to go out and smile at three people and document their reaction. I am a very friendly person and always smile at everyone and say hello anyway. So, I thought this would be a piece of cake. Soon after we were assigned the project, my husband, our youngest son, and I went out to a McDonald's. We were standing in line, waiting to be served, when all of a sudden everyone around us began to back away, and then even my husband did. I did not move an inch. An overwhelming feeling of panic welled up inside of me as I turned to see why they had moved. As I turned around, I smelled a horrible, dirty body smell. And there standing behind me were two homeless men. As I looked down at the short gentleman close to me, he was smiling. His beautiful sky blue eyes were full of light as he searched for acceptance. He said, Good day, as he counted the few coins he had been clutching. The second man fumbled with his hands as he stood behind his friend. I realized the second man was mentally deficient, and the blue eyed gentleman was his salvation. I held my tears as I stood there with them. The young lady at the counter asked him what they wanted. He said, Coffee is all, miss, because that was all they could afford. To sit in the restaurant and warm up, they had to buy something. They just wanted to be warm. Then I really felt it. The compulsion was so great, I almost reached out and embraced the little man with the blue eyes. That is when I noticed all eyes in the restaurant were set on me. Judging my every action, I smiled and asked the young lady behind the counter to give me two more breakfast meals on a separate tray. I then walked around the corner to the table that the men had chosen as a resting spot. I put the tray on the table and laid my hand on the blue eyed gentleman's cold hand. He looked up at me with tears in his eyes and said, Thank you. I leaned over, began to pat his hand, I couldn't say a word. I started to cry as I walked away to join my husband and son. When I sat down, my husband smiled at me and said, That is why God gave you to me, honey. To give me hope. We held hands for a moment and looked at each other. I returned to college on the last evening of class with this story in hand. I turned in my project and the instructor read it. Then she looked up at me and said, Can I share this? I slowly nodded as she got the attention of the class. She began to read, and that is when I knew that we as human beings share this need to heal. In my own way, I had touched the people at that McDonald's, my husband, son, instructor, and every soul that shared the classroom on the last night I spent as a college student. I graduated with one of the biggest lessons I would ever learn unconditional acceptance. After all, we are here to learn. Thank you for watching. Please like this video.